Good morning, good morning, happy Saturday. Hey, hey. Right, before I do anything, I feel like my skin just needs a little bit of help today. I did my skincare early, but then I've just washed my face, so I'm going to just put a little bit of my serum on again. I don't know that it's the fasting, I don't know whether it's the weather, but it just is feeling a little bit more dry than it usually does. So let's just revive it with a little bit of serum. I want to show you like the quickest and easiest way to do your makeup, get some glow, full coverage, super quick. Like because I am not a faff makeup kind of girl, I'm a kind of let's whack it on. Am I free next week for, you, do you mean for your sign up Michelle? Let me know, I will try and find you a slot if that's what it's for, absolutely. Um, let me have a look. Um, right, let me show you this. So, quickest thing ever, never skip your um, primer. I do get asked all the time, like, what is a primer for? Why do I need it? And I was the, exactly the same before I'd done makeup. Because I used to, I was a girl who put my makeup on with my fingers. You know, like, and no primer. But the thing is, your makeup basically sinks into your pores. So if you don't put a primer on, it's not going to sink in evenly. So you're going to end up with patchy looking makeup. And if you've got dry areas, it's going to cling to the dry bits. Your primer is going to help with that. So it's going to make your makeup go on nicer um, and basically last longer as well. Now, if your skin is very dry or very oily, it is important to get the right primer. I... I have a hydrating one and a mattifying one. Um, so whatever my skin is doing at the time, because it does tend to change its mind by the day, um, I put the right primer on underneath, depending on what it's feeling like. But at the moment, it's feeling the dry, so I'm hydrating it. Um, and I'm going to show you the sticks. Like, have you ever put all of your makeup on with sticks? Watch this. Michelle, yes, let me think. I'll check my diary after the live and I'll get you booked in 100%. Um, usually free at lunchtime, so I'll just have to work so I can help you out with that. <laughs> How exciting. Hey, Diane. Right, if you've never tried a stick foundation, I think what can be a little bit scary is like, what if I get the wrong shade? Like, honestly, I'm really good at, at colour matching from photos, but if you ever get a shade that's too dark or too light, Customer Care are amazing. They'll change it as many times as you need until you get the perfect shade. Um, especially when you're a brand new customer, it can be a little bit scary, like trying something new. They'll exchange it however many times you need. And if you don't absolutely love it, which I promise you you will, you can get a full refund as well. So no risk for trying something new. So basically, these are like the non cakey full coverage stick foundation with loads of skincare in it so this is how easy it is like if you're not good at makeup i'm telling you you can do this because all you do is draw it on now the key to this is let me show you the difference in brushes if you get the right brush it makes it dead easy now if you've got like a fluffy soft brush that's not going to blend a stick foundation very well. You know, like, it's not really going to go anywhere. Can you see? If you've got a flat-ended brush that's quite firm, so you can press on it, it's not as fluffy as the other one. Watch this. And all you do, it just... Oh, it's so easy. Just one little sweep. Little circles. I'm just going to get rid of all my red. I hope. Got a little bit of red here. And I do tend to get a little bit of red around my nose as well. It's all in the brush. It's flat ended and it's a bit firmer. What you don't want is something like that for a stick foundation because it's not going to go anywhere. Um, you need that firm brush so that you can just blend it out. And look how easy that is. Like, my mum can't do makeup, but I'm pretty sure she could do this. Dead easy. Now, I always do my ears because I feel like they're a little bit more pink than the rest of your face. Now, if you're anything like me at this time of year and you feel like you've got your makeup on, but it feels like it's a bit boring and a bit, like it needs something. 
going to show you these two magic sticks. Now, I've had lots of people asking me about these in the last few months because they've not been available. I got them at convention last year and the amount of people that have messaged me saying, can I buy them? And I'm like, no, because these are a gift at convention and like they were just a special, you know, like incentive for, it was in the swag that we got. But guess what? Like, I'm, I'm probably not even supposed to say this yet because it's not been announced, but I have heard a whisper that you're going to be able to get these from this month. So, shh, I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you. If anyone asks, I didn't tell you. Um, It's only good, like, official announcements are only later. But this is why I love these so much. Like, when you've got more mature skin, and by mature skin, I mean, like, I'm 43, so I class mine as more mature skin. Um. I don't even know what the definition is, but I feel like your skin gets more dry, cream sticks, anything. Adding that hydration back at the same time as like your you makeup is just perfect. So I've got two of these. I've got one to add a little bit of colour. So I just dab that on. Now the other end does have a blending bud, if you like a blending bud. I'm a little bit of a fingers girl for my blush. So I just give that a little blending because it's cream. It just blends out really easily. Gives you that nice pop of healthy colour. But you don't get anything packed on. You know, like, because it's not a powder, it's a cream. It just melts into your skin and you get the colour where you need it. And it just looks all nice and healthy. It looks like, looks like you just woke up like that. And then I've got another one in a lighter colour. This is barely blushing. And the reason for that is, this is like highlighter. So you just go along the top of where you went with your blush and this is like a shimmery colour and you get this gorgeous kind of glow without anything looking cakey and it's just nice and fresh. I don't, I'm obsessed. I just love it. Um, so yeah, get the glow. Get the glow. That is my get. I would say that is my get the glow bundle to be fair. Stick, stick, stick. Hydrating primer. Get the glow. Right, ladies, we need a little bit of 4D mascara because I just feel naked without mascara on. And I've just got no lashes at all without it. Now, this, if you've never seen this before, this is basically our 4D fibre mascara. But it's not one of those where the fibres can fall out. You know, I've seen, our old one, you used to have to seal it in. This is completely different. There's nothing that can drop out. It's all one wand. And the only difference is you're doing a little bit of a wiggle at the bottom just to interlock the fibres into your lashes and then blink. Dead easy. I'm awake. <laughs> lashes just make so much difference to your face, don't they? Does anyone else feel naked without lashes on? I feel like I, I, can't, I feel like I can't, you know, get on with my day until I've got my lashes on. I've spent all morning cleaning. I have let the kids irritate me a little bit today, which I shouldn't have done. I'm fasting. So I feel like I failed a little bit today because they've just, I've just let them irritate me today, you know, and they're just... Um, but got most of my cleaning done. I've just got the two bathrooms to do. I felt like my morning was a little bit out of whack this morning. Kids ever have, the, ever have them days where they're just answering, answering back, giving you attitude all day and you're just like, no. <laughs> Been one of those days today. But that's why I needed to come on and just do a little bit of makeup because I think sometimes when you're just in your routine, like Saturdays for me is always cleaning day, so I'm literally like blitz the house, what can I cook for tea, like doing all the stuff, and I feel 100% better when I've had my shower. Come and do my makeup. It just makes me feel miles better. Lashes just change the whole mood for the day. Um, 
And I think I'm going to add, oh, where's my little lip mask? I'm going to put a little bit of lip mask on. This is the Squalane lip, lip mask um, that was in last month's um, lip bundles. It's like, it's like a skin conditioner, so it really helps hydrate dry skin. There we go. All done. Feeling alive, feeling more human, ready to tackle the afternoon. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me, ladies. I hope you have an amazing Saturday. I'm hoping for a calm, chilled afternoon. Send me calm vibes. Send me... Send, oh god, you know when you just see someone having an argument in their upstairs window, like I just happened to glance across at the house, or, you know, have you ever done that and you're like, oh, oh, shouldn't be looking, you're just a human nature. Um, right ladies, have an amazing, send me calm vibes, I'm, I'm, I need a calm, tranquil afternoon now after this morning's dramas. Um, but yeah, have an amazing afternoon and I'll see you soon.